I have a sneaking suspicion that there is going to be some magic bullshit going on. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's me. It's Scott. Hello. I really like this armor set for Blair. Yeah, that is a that is a boss ass door. That is a door with bosses. Ill omened creature. And that is ominous. Ominous as fuck. Hmm, I see. Very well. Let's uh let's go for the mist. Oh no. <laughs> oh! This has gotten bad. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs>
I know if there's anyone who got me. It's Mimic Blair. Very cool fight. Let's look at that. Let's look at that item. Remembrance of Relana, the Twin Moon Knight, hewn into the Skadu tree. Power of its namesake can be unlocked by a finger reader. Uh, once a Carrion princess, Relana disavowed her birthright and chose to stand at Mesmer's side instead, knowing full well that not even the brilliance of the moon could grant him succor. Before long, she became known as the Sword of Mesmer. Very cool. Skadu Atlas. Another spot where Mikola shed their flesh. Hello again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living god. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the tower folk, a cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the Hornsent holds the Earth Tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest. And in this regard, the Tower Folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. But it's still a wretched shame. Wondering about the Horn True enough? Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the Tower Folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the horn sent holds the earth. That aside, man, in this regard, they were never saying they just happened to be on it. It's still a wretch. So, with that, then. It's got a new tree fragment. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here my heart. Monk's missive. May the best win. A letter bearing a terse message and an illustration of a monk. His hands held together. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, we will challenge. You will challenge me to a bout. There will, is no need for words.
Ah, some good martial arts stuff right there. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. Nice. Thanks, bud. Nicola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He says the act, though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross, which is evidence enough to earn my belief. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. The blood of your fellows, the Earth Three faithful. Ah. Uplifting aromatics probably the best one. Soap. Wash him. Wash him. Hmm. Hmm. The Empyrean Mikola is loved by many people. Indeed, he has learned very well to compel such affection. It's it's such a it's such a question mark. If Mikola's charm is of just charisma, or if there is a another layer to it that is uh, magical. And naturally, that's on purpose. I understand that, but I do I do find it interesting. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I found one, two, three, four so far. So there's two more I gotta find. And then I can go back to that other fellow. Very interesting. Oh, a shadow giant. Joy. So if I'm interpreting this right- Oh, Bunny! Thank you for subscribing! Goodness! What a surprise! Thank you! Wow! 57 months! Wow! <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you so much. I am honored and delighted. Um, That one month break will haunt me forever. <laughs> Haunted. Haunted. Well, that's okay. Welcome to the stream. We have we have our beautiful boy Blair here with his with his uh with his golden with his golden eyes. Thanks because he he keeps eating dragon hearts. How does the stream look? Does it look okay? This lighting makes him look haunted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> haunted stream looks good fantastic uh blair is haunted by wanting to spend more time with his god wife but alas he is out cleaning up trouble in a shadowed realm <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean <laughs> oh oh yes wanting to spend more time with his wife she's just a funny little gesture that's true she's just a funny little gesture silly me I don't know where that came from. Look at that moon. Look at that beautiful moon. It's very funny how the sheep all roll. Moon fit to have me act up. Moon <laughs> fitting, fitting to make me go wild. I could be riding my horse right now. Oh, a duel. A duel, good sir. I 
I won the duel. So what I realized, you know, I was like, it's kind of, it kind of fits how Blair's become a lot of uh, draconically aligned throughout this playthrough, because uh, Blair, you know, as it turns out, Ember of Mesmer has a lot of uh, draconic allegiances in other settings, like uh, like Morgan, um, his his partner in. Uh, adventuring. Very convenient to have a hole in your sword that fits through. It is very convenient. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. That's one of the things that I dislike about <laughs> riding on the horse all the time. Uh, because the clipping just takes me out of the RP. Um, but yeah, Morrigan, the, uh, the, black, the black dragon. That is his partner. I got a dragon katana, I got a dragon shield, I got armor that's draconic. Even the scabbard looks like a little tail sticking out. And I said this last night, it's like if if Blair was a Idy asked me if Blair was a reptile, what reptile would he be? And I said, oh he'd be a he'd be a gold dragon. And then he was like, uh, no not like that, but very good to know. I still, I still haven't thought up what kind of reptile he would be. Maybe like a gecko of some variety. Maybe some sort of... Itty assumes we know reptiles after that. It's true. Itty, itty does. And it's very, it's very sweet. But! <laughs> However, it sticks my fingers up. Uh, what was I looking at? Oh, that's right. Uh, Ember of Mesmer. Bless, bless their sweet, sweetheart. What was I looking at? Oh, there it is. Serpentine cord-like ember. Material used for crafting items. Mainly found in the Skadu Atlas. A remnant of Mesra's flame, the symbol of a crusade, it continues to smolder as if crawling on the ground. What, what kind of lizard would he be? I'm genuinely curious. Let me look. <laughs> He's trying so hard to have thoughts. He's not a himbo. He's not. Out fucking played. Really, really fucking good. <laughs> oh, another cross. I don't like what we're walking towards. I don't like that at all. Looks like a bunch of fallen over pillars. Well, it's another Mesmer camp, so... Actually, goodbye, sir. Oh, Black Knight armor. Black Knight Greaves. Well, I can just do this. 
You got a cute new corset as a late birthday present? Oh, hell yeah. Very poggers. Well, I'm delighted to hear about that. For many obvious reasons. Most because you getting gifts is a wonderful thing indeed. And more. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Show it to me sometime. Please. Please. It's floor pattern. It'll look great with my normal black wardrobe. I will. Woohoo! Hell yeah. What are you doing, sir? Have a rock. Yeah, there's another one. So this is Black Knight armor. Armor worn by Black Knight servants of Mesmer the Impaler. I love their attacks. They're like... Ooh, I'm gonna wind up so far. The only engravings are above the heart is a skadoo tree design is etched in gold. A small consol consolation to those forced to wage a war without grace or honor. Ooh, I'm gonna hit you. It's so f because they do that, so they get, they'll throw you off. They'll throw you. They want you to, like, roll at the wrong time. Uh, black iron or mint or it. Nemented with gold, a rotten odor stubbornly clings to it. Perhaps it arises from the tainted nature of the blood that is splattered upon it, or perhaps it is the wearer's own blackened soul, festering after endless slaughter. Scary. That is another America statue with no head. I imagine Gale was like, uh, oh, Blair, you should go back to uh, that weird cocoon. Maybe there's some weird stuff there. And Blair's like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, honey. That headless statue? Yeah, it's of, uh, of America. Looks similar to Gale's body shape. You know? Honestly? You're absolutely right. Very fitting that headless then. Very cool. What a what a nice little coincidence. <laughs> we gotta look at the the butt. Okay, you know what? I see it. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> How was I doing? Oh, that's right. I was laughing. <laughs> Wait, I was going towards uh, a cross. Blair riding in, seeing wife statue. Anger, kill, realizes not wife. Well, there's no regrets. How dare they behead my wife's statue? Not a single thought of why does my why would my wife have a statue? Ooh, skadoo tree fragment. Are 
Are you the monk? Hell yeah. Dry Leaf Dane. Oh, it's a boomerang. Not a single thought bottom text. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Just... <laughs> It's very funny how Blair is a, a very earnest man. Very dedicated. He's a himbo. <laughs> we love him. It's true. We love that. We love him. He's a hot, hot fellow. Dry Leaf Arts. Dane's hat. Still think about the jester outfit you drew him in. And I think, I mean, I look at it, so. Mm. That's right, I was gonna see the new weapon I got. Dry Leaf Arts. A technique for hand to hand combat without the aid of a weapon. This martial art combines fish strikes and kicks. The teaching of a group of spiritual seekers known as the Dryleaf Sect, revealing only to those, only to those of worthy valor and character. The practice of martial art marks the dawn of an ascetic's journey. Palm Blast, skill of the spiritual seekers known as the Dryleaf Sect, imbues hand with energy before palm strike to unleash an explosive blast. The already formidable power and impact can be bolstered by charging the attack. Hell yeah. Punch time. It's time for delicious punch. Dane's hat, the sun faded and lightly soiled hat of dry leaf Dane. Worn low over the eyes, it obscures the wearer's vision. Mean the gaze of another can overcome the senses, often lean to the downfall of those who would walk the noble and solidary seeker's path. We keep schmoovin'. Touch cross. I abandon here the flesh of my body. They were aggressive. They were aggressive. Facts. That guy was also aggressive. I think Gale was a little bit of an influence on Blair. It's 
smidge. Try cave. Okay. No high road ahead. Suffering ahead. Left your back open, son. Oh, there's a church down there. Shattered stone talisman. Raisin's potency of kicking and stomping skills. Lynchpin stones are spiritual anchors set to hold the ground in place and quell the fury of earthquakes. When this one shattered, the surrounding town fell into the broken earth. One account claimed the moon itself had come tumbling down. Huh. The moon itself had come tumbling down. Interesting. I see no safe way to get down there. There ain't no feather fall here. Must be another way to get to it. Very odd though. Very, very odd. Well done. Castle ahead. Which which got you Ugin? Anxiety? Oh no! Anything I can do that can help you, money? Oh, string. Man, it is dark in here. <laughs> Boy, how is it dark? First off, target lock. Oh, it's a dog. The usual message is something I've cut out, so I'm just gonna exist. Okay, bunny. Well, I'll be here to chat with you and hang out with you and... ...provide you some delicious amusement. Hidden path ahead? Man. <laughs> messages like that, just scattered all over. First off behind, then time for a head. A torch. Golden horn tender. Nice. <laughs> Alright, it's light again. Good, good. So, apparently, a linchpin stone shattered, and then it was like as if the moon had fallen. Try range battle. We got it. Yeah, Blair just does this. He just he just grabs masses of rock and then throws them. <laughs> this is normal for him. Ah! <laughs> Elden Ring. I doubt that. Golden Arcs. New spell. A few new spells actually. Uh, rings of spectral light 
Practiced by the Spirit Graves, creates rings of spectral light that fire in unison. Charge increases potency. The rings of light have the same quality as Ghost Flame and deal magic damage while also causing frost buildup. Tibia summons. Summon the summon the bones. Bones. Here we go. Golden arcs. A swing of the arm releases a procession of golden arcs. Charging enhances potency. The arcs resemble barbs, a known symbol of coercive questioning. Spooky. Coercive questioning. Message, let there be, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right, you don't have the right. Man, this must have been quite the impressive church. Shadow Sunflower. There it is. Large flower used large flower that blooms facing the skidoo tree. These flowers, veiled in shadow and covered in unpenetrable thorns, are suffused with profound holiness, much akin to the skidoo tree itself. That's very spooky. Yes, I agree. That is a very spooky flower. And it's supposed to look like that. I want to draw Julia holding it? Hell yeah. Here, I'll let you get a good reference of it. Snip it. Snip it so you can see. It's got thorns. It's wilting. It's crazy. It's suffused with a profound holiness. Nah, it's okay. The stream quality is a little bit low for me. Oh, then I'll just take a picture for you. There we go. No worries. One aim ahead, then surface ahead. Dredge and a little to the left DLC coming out soon. Hmm. Those sound those sound like very good uh, presents for me to get you. Very interesting. Very interesting that. How how interesting. I'd be so happy. I do, I do like making you happy. This is a, this is a truth. I, I am a notorious happy maker. That is, that is what all my friends call me. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Alarm set for the dredge DLC. I need to beat normal dredge. I fell off it. Probably because it was, uh... A lot of work stuff came up, but I still got my save. I can go back to it any time. I'm I think I'm at the last part of the game. Hmm. Weird. There's not more down here. Just a church that fell into the ground. You have 100% of it and the DLC? Most impressive. Is the DLC the one with the, um, is the new DLC the one with the oil rig? Or is that a DLC that's already out? Hoggers. Ah, okay. I haven't gotten that one yet. I haven't played that one yet. Very interesting. Long ass ladder. Bonnie Village. There's a lot of pots here.
Short and spooky. Ooh. I do love short and spooky. I'm looking at you when I say that. Oh, 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 oh. Big old pots. Let's go. Yo, oh, 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 Spinning. You don't have to beat the game to do the DLC either? Oh, that's always good to hear. Alright, let's explore this village full of pots. Only equip a good weapon for battling pots. Breaking out my hammer. Bonnie Village. Apparently this, this village is very heretical. Perhaps it's because of the giant pots. Can you imagine how much work would go into making one of these pots? Makara would be having a field day. A naked person? It's the greater potentante. Empty crack pot. Oot. Whoa, that guy's got hops. Blair casually taking out an entire village full of people. They attacked him. Gail told him that aggressive people like this can't be saved. They just don't want to talk. They're just being unreasonable. Gale has always led to his success, so why would he question that? Smile. <laughs> Smile. It's Man Eater Mildred again. Oh, it's over for you. Hmm, so. So. She has such a nice smile, Blair says. <laughs> The bridge is out. If only I had a bridge. Bonnie Butchering Knife. Bonnie is a good name. It has a good, cute name.
Bonnie. That's Honey's middle name. Such a good middle name for Honey. That's Billy's last name. Smile. The cosplaying duo. There it is. Weapon of the Greater Potentantes of Bonnie Village. An over outsized an outsized butcher's cleaver used to dismember human bodies in the making of the great jars stored in jails. Oh. <laughs> Perform a stroke and action to sharpen the blade, honing its cutting edge, increasing the amount of HP recovered. The greater potentantes uh, treasure the tools of their practice. Mine now. Flares now. That's that is that is his cleaver now. Would be a nice gift for Gail. Blair really became that wife guy. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Especially, especially in this setting where he's like, I have memories of stuff. But I, nothing really solid. And then Gale was like, hey, I'll be something solid. And, and Blair was like, oh, okay. It's perfect. Uh, devoting myself to you. Got quite an arm on him. Didn't mean to sip that, but it's fine. rock mix.
Hmm. Right. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. It is it's it's like those uh it's like those memes of like uh you're now listening to so and so rock station where we play rock all the time every time the hardest core rock you've ever heard and then it's radioactive by imagine dragons <laughs> Very good, very good meme. Very good meme. Man, I'm gonna get my my butt kicked. Seek house item. This is not rock or alt. In fact, this is just nice music. <laughs> Thanks, but <laughs> specifically not what I was looking for. For pity's sake, your place is in a jaw. Is in the jaw. Nice sainthood itself awaits you within. For shamans like you, this is your lot. Life, were you accorded? But this alone. Whipping hut. Tooth whip. That is probably the worst item I've ever heard of. I'm sorry. Whip bestrewn with rotting, misshapen teeth, filthy and seething with disease. Oh, the teeth are embedded in the whip and dose the victim with deadly poison upon each strike. As the wounds ripen, they grow inflamed and ugh, ugh. Hate that smile. Was that they meant? They specifically are made to mend? Was said to men meld harmoniously with others. Ugh. Ugh. So they they were literally combining shamans together by whipping them. And then they put them in a jar. That's awful. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> this is the fucking worst. What a terrible village. Well, thank God our time in that village is done. What a beautiful moon. Gale smile. I hate this view, smile. I'm gonna look up. <laughs> Visions of think carefully. Somewhere, a great rune has broken. And so too has a powerful charm. Huh? Somewhere a great rune has broken, and so too a powerful charm. Huh. Is there bears in these woods? I'm I'm sure there is bears in these woods. Holy shit! Zeus 
looking ass. We got it. Raging Beast Ash of War. Grants an, an armament, the keen affinity in this falling scale, raging beast, step with the swiftness of beast, leap high and slash the foe from above. Initial step can be taken forward, backward, left or right, strong attack allows for follow-up attack. Twitch! Twitch now! Please, Twitch, please! Twitch, no! The bit rate, the bit rate, no! Alright, there we go. I don't know why it randomly drops frames like that. Awful. I'm sorry about that, bunny. Oh. It's okay. It's 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 literally something with uh Twitch. Like no stutter there. Yeah, it's just randomly dropping frames. It should remediate itself. You reported it? Thank you. Thank you, bunny. I don't want beef with you guys. I don't want beef with- there's so many goddamn wolves. Strong foe ahead. Center. Oh, man. That stuff homing on me so well. Yeesh. I think what I'm supposed to do is jump up and then bash him. required ahead. Oh! How am I supposed to deal with that guy? I wonder.
Hmm. Right eye and crafting clearly. Yeah, you're right. Oh, the frames. It's gotten so laggy all of a sudden. This is ridiculous. I'm really sick of it says it says no drop frames, by the way. No drop frames. And yet. And yet. Damn you, Twitch. Okay. Maybe I can throw pots into its head. Oh, maybe that is the solution. Well, I saw Blair die twice, so... <laughs> he didn't die. He didn't die. It's fake. It's a myth. Why is the frame rates... Oh my goodness. What is going on? Ah! Scary b bird. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna go sit at the fire so I can fix this issue. This is insane. Good lord. Real slideshow. The thing is, is that I think it's literally just. Yeah, okay, I see what's up. 